Executive Coaching is a key organization development initiative that focuses efforts on the people who have the most influence and impact on the organization. So it's important that we get it right. In this week's video, I talk with Mike Todd, managing partner and executive coach with Learning Unlimited Corporation. We discuss what good coaching entails and what you need to do to find the right coach for your executives. And if you are a coach who is tasked with doing that internally, we give you tools to use and skills to employ. So grab your cup of coffee and let's talk executive coaching. And good morning, everyone. Today I have Mike Todd, uh, President, CEO. What's the title now, Mike? I've shifted uh, back to CEO, which uh, I, I jumped away from probably 12, 15 years ago. Okay. All right. So, so he's CEO of Learning Unlimited Corporation, a fabulous company based in Tulsa. I can say that in all honesty, because until recently, I served alongside Mike. Mike is a long-term colleague and a superior executive coach that I've got to watch closely with clients uh, over the last four to five years. Uh, that being the case, I wanted to bring some of that expertise to you guys. So today we're going to be talking about executive coaching from the perspective of an excellent executive coach. So Mike, uh, what exactly is coaching? Coaching really, from my point of view, is evoking excellence in others. So it's a, it's a process of drawing out um, the strengths, skills, and um, the talents of somebody so that they can get greater success. Okay. Okay. So, so how would you, how do you distinguish between executive coaching and there's other titles? There's, uh, I'm a life coach. I'm a personal coach. I'm, so what's the difference? There's so many brands of coaching, how do you distinguish what you do and how does this help leaders uh, differently? Okay. Well, executive coaching really is leadership coaching. And as opposed to life coaching, leadership coaching and executive coaching tends to be sponsored by a, a company or a corporation. Mm -hmm. uh, life coaching frequently is sponsored by the individual. Um, life coaching tends to focus more on a specific relationship or a specific goal around okay. weight, health, et cetera. Um, the difference really is that it's business coaching, and it's really about an individual that's in a role that has direct reports. And so it's an individual who has a lot of impact and a lot of uh, responsibility within an organization through their direct reports. Okay. Okay. Fair enough. So, so... When, when, sh when is coaching the path that a company should investigate, look into uh, versus uh, training versus sending somebody off to a great course somewhere else in the world? Uh, when is it the right time to say, let's bring in a coach to help this executive move forward? It's really a number of different places. It has everything to do with, is this individual seeking growth and development. Mm -hmm. uh, perhaps we see inside this organization that this person needs to grow and develop. So when you've got those two factors going, but the most important factor is basically, is this individual open to growth and development? So when they're open to growth and development and either they see it in themselves or somebody outside of them sees it in them, that's a good time to talk about coaching. Okay. So, so it sounds like you've encountered people who weren't open to growth before. That, I, why would that happen? Well, it, it happens frequently because a lot of times there's misunderstanding about what coaching is. And the way that I coach and the way that I think effective coaches coach is that they don't come in and tell somebody how to do their job. Uh, they basically go through a process of asking questions and really extracting uh, the wisdom and insight of the individual in order to better leverage and get results that they need to get in their role and their work as opposed to, oh, wait a minute, I don't want to work with this guy because I don't need him to tell me how to do my work or how to do my job. Okay. That's where there can be some resistance. Okay. So, so, so let me put you on the spot just a little bit. Now, Mike, 
you don't know Mike, I know Mike. Mike has this uh, uber sensitive, uh, I don't want to talk about uh, anybody else in any way, um, you know, mega private, as I guess coaches should be. Uh, but anyway, his needle is way pegged out over to the far end. So I'm going to make you a little uncomfortable here. Hyper confidential. <laughs> <laughs> so, so tell me, uh, give me some details on some success stories uh, that you've encountered, that your clients have encountered through coaching. What can you tell us about that? Okay. Um, I had a senior vice president of operations who um, was brought in my direction three or four years ago. And basically, I was both warned about this individual and um, told that, if you and this guy can both get along and make it through a coaching process successfully, that will say something about what you're doing there at Learning Unlimited. Okay. Um, this gentleman, while operationally super experienced, super savvy, he definitely had challenges with being misunderstood at work. Okay. Very direct, very strong-willed. This is the way that it is. Um, not particularly flexible. And so they saw an opportunity for him to grow in that capacity, but also because he was an older leader, they weren't exactly sure how far he would be able to grow. Well, about five or six in months into what is typically an eight or nine month process, um, I was getting specific feedback from the executive assistant and also from his some of his colleagues saying, this guy's doing different work now. He's behaving differently. Now, it wasn't a night and day, all of his problems are solved, but the feedback was huge for me as a coach to be able to understand, hey, he's actually applying what he's learning. And the most important part, and I will frequently share this with coaching clients, is coaching is working when those that are around you are reporting that you're doing things better and you're doing things differently. Very good. Good. Good indicator. So give me one more. So I got one. That's okay. good. Another one was... Um, Somebody that was referred to me who um, also a guy that was like a general manager responsible for operations in a manufacturing facility. Um, very type A personality, very strong willed, um, had military background. Um, I would have considered him and do consider him a, a student of leadership. So I was referred to him. We sat down, had a conversation about coaching. And while it was clear that he saw himself as somebody that studied leadership and was working hard on it all the time, he had some of those very clear and direct concerns relative to, well, what exactly do you think you know about my job that can make me better and more effective? And basically, I was real clear with him. Well, I don't know your job better than your job, and I don't know you better than you know you. And what ended up happening was we made a strong and solid connection. We had the conversation about, here's what we're going to get into. We're going to get into a journey of growth where I ask you questions. I subject you to proven assessments and various resources. And it's up to you to tell me what it is you need to do with these items and tools over time so that you become more effective. Well, he gave me plenty of head nod and agreed with that. However, I wasn't even mildly sure that I was going to get any business from this guy uh, just because he was so strong and so skeptical in his position. I get a call about two weeks later and says, he says to me, okay, I'm ready to start. Well, it wasn't only success that we acquired his business, but the greater success was yet again when the gentleman that had reported or referred me to this guy and then some of his coworkers and colleagues were reporting back to me, hey, this guy's doing different work. He's actually listening now. He's not running around like a bulldog as much. And that <laughs> frequently much. is what makes a, a big difference within leaders. It's not these dramatic shifts and changes. Sometimes it's just a little fine tuning that is all that it takes to really get better results. OK, very cool. And, and one thing I'd like to underline, which I was reminded by Mike's story just now, um, Leadership is the kind of topic that everyone thinks they're an expert in, or many leaders today. There's so many books, there's uh, uh, videos like this that people can watch on their own time and walk away feeling very much like they have this handled. And a suggestion, recommendation, 
is that if you're a leader sitting there thinking, oh, I already know this, pause. Put a question to it. Ask yourself if perhaps you might want the perspective of someone who works in this day in and day out. Perhaps you might need or really benefit from uh, the help of an executive coach like Mike Todd. Thanks for watching today's video, my interview with Mike Todd, uh, the first in a two part series with him around executive coaching. Next week, we're going to get into further detail about tools he uses and the process that he uses in order to do executive coaching and to do it very well. This will be really helpful for those who are considering doing more executive coaching. Perhaps you're jumping into this uh, as a new part of your practice, or perhaps you're doing it internally. You'll want to tune in next week for that video. If you're liking this, please hit the subscribe button below and please share this with your friends, with other professionals who might benefit from this content. Thanks so much, and we'll see you next week.